listen to me. If I can give you any piece you of advice. You want to sit down, Arthur? Any at all? Don't become a mother. I ain't worth it. Worst job in all creation. Feed the boy. Raise the boy. Do any damn thing you could to protect the boy. All the time. Does a little apple of his mother's eye so much as consider the words thank you? Or express anything other than utter whore at her who birthed him? <sighs> Rudeness I think I could take. It's the pity and disgust I struggle with. It breaks my heart every time it does. Hi there. So don't any of you boys become mothers. It ain't worth the hassle. Believe me when I tell you that, it ain't worth it. Hi there. Hey, Arthur. Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Yeah. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing ah. lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep... It's quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Stupid! And 
we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Get out here. Get out here. I Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear? 
hear nothing. I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't. Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Confuse him. Arthur, with me. And if dumb William said you're on the road, oh, shut the hell up. Quick, behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left, and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my Shh. right.
not disappoint me, feller. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move.
well, girl. Mr. Thrifts? How are you? Hi, Molly. Arthur. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't either. Fuck up. It's gonna be all right. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. Mrs. Adler. Hi, Arthur. How are you doing? Okay, considering. That's the spirit. Sure. Always good to see you. Hi, Mr. Morgan. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. I know we don't say much, but we appreciate it. Okay. Not so very different. Everyone steals, kills. Suppresses, lies. All they do better here is make you believe that it's not that way. Guess things are the same everywhere. Yeah. The older I get, the more I find that to be true. Kind of depression. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Impressive. Well, Tom, we got some rest. Mr. Strauss. Hello, Arthur. Why are you looking so shifty? I'm not. Okay. Guess we'll find out. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. How are you? Not the best, I'll be honest. Mary be Beth. Okay. Hi there, Arthur. How old are you now? 21, 22? You know, you, you shouldn't ask a lady well, such Arthur. things. You were snoring, that's all. I need to sleep, Arthur. <laughs> now, let me tell you boys a story. And when old uncle was just a little boy, back when they called me nephew, I guess. <laughs> Not uncle. Now, my real uncle? Uncle Jeb? My mother's brother's cousin, <laughs> he was kind of funny. One of those men you, uh, you didn't want to be left alone with on account of him doing, well, you know what I mean, not right with young men. <laughs> Anyways, he wanted to take me fishing. Now, I didn't want to go, because if there's one place men act funny, it's around fish. <laughs> well, anyways, he tried to take me. All week long, he's telling me to come, and in the end, I sent my brother's friend, Ned, instead. Go. I never liked Ned much, either. I figured, well, they could do the damnedest to each other. Turns out they did. Only weren't Jeb drowning Ned like I reckoned, but Ned, Ned 
He went and, well, stabbed Jeb right in the moneymaker. Turned him into Aunt Jemima. <laughs> no word of lie. <laughs> I ain't sure I understood a word of that. Oh, I'm lost on you fools. Well, you're lost, that's for sure. 